I published this circuit a few days ago. It's the poor man's function generator that works between 21 kilocycles and 1 megacycles. And in fact, it's a A-stable multivibrator made with two typical high-frequency transistors. Ceramic caps, they must be ceramic, otherwise it doesn't work. And here is a buffer stage. But now I'm in a more uh, definite stage uh, to make this uh, function generator. And here you see what I've also showed in an earlier video, um, a switch with two motor contacts and five positions. On each position we have here the capacitors. So switch 1A and switch 1B is coupled and we switch between 4 and 7. 4700 picofarad and 220 picofarad. So this is the definite way, but of course, perhaps it's interesting to show how I made it. You can see here two units. This is one unit here on the uh, right side and one unit here on the left side. They were pre-wired at first and then screwed to the front of the sick generator. So here are, uh, this is the overview and here is one unit, the unit with the BF90. It was pre-wired and of course you know, perhaps when you follow my channel, that I always make my circuits with brass nails on wood, well varnished wood. So this was the first unit. And here is the other unit, which also a typical high frequency transistor. And after that I made them, they were positioned here on the main board. And that main board is already explained in an earlier video. Uh, template glued to plywood of 3 millimeters. All the knobs on the front, etc. And because I made this unit, these two units, in an uh, more or less um, exact the same way, I found that the waveform changed. And that is in fact strange, but also logical when we look at the electronics theory. This is a circuit uh, with a very low stray capacitance and with a very low inductive capacitance. And that means that um, I now see this waveform and compare it to the waveform that I've showed in, showed in an earlier video. It's now a pure triangle wave. I switch now the, uh, the frequency switch So, a pure triangle wave, which that's very pure, <coughs> that's very pure, in my opinion, anyway. And of course, with such a triangle wave, you can make uh, other uh, typical waveforms that are usable in electronics. So, something more to tell, the template is here. This is the one and only location in the circuit where the wiring, the minus of this oscillator, is soldered to the template. 
there will be no other, other uh, location. And the reason is that for such an oscillator you need a one-point earth circuit. So this is the one-point earth and this wire to that one-point earth will also be connected to the power supply lead, the minus. Um, so that's important. And perhaps you see here two output pins. Perhaps I have to uh, uh, even um, take them away from the minus board, like I've did it now, and connect them with separate wires to the one and only earth point when um, I see a deterioration of the waveform. So it's a kind of uh, pre-soldering but perhaps it will not work and then have then I have to change it. And here you can see that it is all very symmetrical. One uh, transistor here that does a part of the job and here the other transistor and all in a certain group around that one and only central switch. That switches all these capacitors, 4 and 7, uh, up to say 200 picofarad or so. So, interesting in my opinion to see that the waveform can change due to the way that a circuit is made, impractical. But that is not very strange. I've made a lot of oscillators with exactly the same behavior. And this is, uh, by the way, uh, an RC, so a resistor, capacitor, oscillator, and not an LC, uh, coil, capacitor, oscillator. So that means that it is. Um, uh, that, it, that it suffers from all kinds of effects, capacitive and inductive effects. And uh, well, you can uh, take them in account by making such a circuit in a proper way. And this shows, in my opinion, a proper way to make such a RC oscillator for higher frequencies because we now talk about frequencies between say uh, 20 kilohertz and 1 megahertz. 1 megahertz is surely a radio frequency. So here radio frequencies are generated and we have to take into account all the typical problems that come with radio frequencies. Parasitic capacitance, parasitic inductance, etc. Anyway, it works, and that's very, very interesting. I have to make the field effect stage that is connected to the oscillator stage. Now we'll do that within uh, a few days. And, well, that's all.